All right, folks. Today was a long day, but I'm up uh, Somerset, Seven Springs, Pennsylvania, for the seven, the 2022 Seven Springs Total Archery Challenge event. I'm looking forward to this. I, uh, I've never done it. I uh, was trying to go last year, but I couldn't because uh, I was having ankle surgery. So this year, I made sure to block off the time to get on up here and, and do this. But uh, it ended up being, if you guys follow along with us, you know, like any of my camping vlogs that I've done, the uh, storage location is not ideal. So a lot out of the way to go get it. Fortunately, coming back by the house, I was able to stop so I could meet my wife. So she could give me my keys to the trailer so I could actually get into it. And then uh, also give me my Pelican case with all my camera gear in it. So <laughs> there's that. So that took a little bit of time and I stopped for lunch. But then just the way I came, it was better than being stuck on interstate traffic, but it was a little bit of white knuckling and a little bit sketchy in some spots and slow in some spots. And um, yeah, so it took me a little while to get here, but I made it and it's hot, I'm sweaty. That's right, I'm gonna be hot and sweaty for the next four days. So I have knock times for tomorrow and Sunday, not for uh, s Friday and Saturday. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, go hang out, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm not sure how exactly this is gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Campground here, I'm staying at a state park here in um, Somerset, right down the road from the Seven Springs Ski Resort where the TAC event's being held. But uh, it's pretty empty in here. Nice little campground now, getting into the campsite was easy. Missed the water fill up station, so I had to go back around and fill up with the water and then uh, getting into my site. I'm, I've gotten pretty good at backing this thing up by myself. And I was able to back into the site real easy. Um, but then, then ended up having to do some back and forth um, to get it level. The site is unfortunately not the level of site in the world. And uh, I'll show you, as you can see, I've got a stack underneath the tires there. And then because of that, my stairs don't reach very well, so I just stack up some some blocks there as well. I had the legs all the way out. I couldn't get the trailer over far. I was trying to get the trailer over in the site a little bit far, so I did some back and forth to try and get it pushed over, but um, that was didn't really work out. I was trying to get it over so that the stairs would come down on the asphalt, not on the dirt there, but I did the best I could, and it's going to be what it is. So. My jacks, my level of jacks, especially in the back, are down pretty far, but it's fine. I'm not going to be back there. It's just me. Fat girls didn't come up with me. Next year, Chris can be here. That would be good. He can carry all my stuff for me. That would be great. Um, so, I need to run into town, get some diesel, and then uh, get some cash, because my wife stole my cash, so I can get some firewood. But, uh, yeah. There you have it. I got a couple guys across the road here. They're here for TAC. But there you have it. I'm get finished getting set up. Good morning. I'm up and about. Got my uh, breakfast going here. We turn that fan off. It's a little loud. Got my breakfast going here. We got some venison breakfast sausage, tomatoes, um, mushrooms, and three eggs. That's my. One of my go-to's. Grab my jalapenos. I usually put some jalapenos in there too. So, getting this breakfast ready, and then I'm getting the last bit of my stuff um, packed up. So my knock time. I went back and took my email stuff. My knock time is at noon on the BRCC course. So I'm gonna. It's 8:30 eh, right now, but I'm gonna head over here shortly. Um, check things out and get checked in and you know, get ready. But uh, yeah, it rained last night. It looked, I think it's still raining. I can't tell if it's still raining or it's just a raindrops coming off the trees. But uh, yeah, it rained pretty good last night. I was glad I was in this camper. <laughs> so I get my breakfast worked up here and then uh, head on out. Well, here we are. Got all checked in. Wandered around the vendor tables, talked to a few folks, and that was pretty fun. A uh, gentleman with the QU tent, Army Reservist, good dude. Had a good conversation with him. I think he talked me into buying a pack. That's fine, I need one. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk to the BHA Pennsylvania chapter guys, or the guy over there, and talk about muster and all those things. So that was pretty, pretty good. And then I just got done on the practice course, and that was I mean, that was good. That, I feel good because <laughs> uh, I haven't really I got my bow uh, retuned and strung and all that stuff and four fletched my arrows and hadn't really been able I got you know pretty much sighted in but I hadn't really been able to spend much time practicing because I've been so busy with stuff and so I was a uh, kind of stressing but I right, 20 out to 80 and we were good so I'm feeling pretty confident right now about that so I'm gonna go shoot the course here well I'm about maybe halfway through this course this black rifle coffee company of course is a butt kicker targets aren't hard well anywhere from 30 to 80 but uh you can see where everybody is back down there i don't know if you can see that or not yeah climbing hills i'm half, halfway through a 25 course target and i'm two two and a half hours in get my steps in now but it has been a lot of fun just got me a bear at six, 62 yards. A little, low in the, a little low in the gut. I'll be tracking this one. Yeah. Met some free, some, met some people. Having a good time. That's what it's all about. So, there you have it. There's your update. Oh. I need to do some more working out. At least next year, Chris will be here. I'll make him go get all my arrows. That'll work, right? <laughs> all right, we're back at the camper. Um, <laughs> right after I uh, wrapped up the course, um, I guess we, like we, I said on the last little clip there, it was like halfway through, and we went down, and uh, the last half of the course was kind of downhill shooting, and uh, did pretty good. I only lost one arrow and only missed the target one time it was on that one arrow so obviously but yeah i mean for 25 targets i'm a little rusty i was pretty happy like not all of them were in the kill ring but uh most of them were so i'm pretty pleased with that you know for 30 to 80 yard shots you know throughout the course um some tough like threading the needle type of shots it was a lot of fun i mean i'm really glad i came up here for this um it was just definitely an experience and met some really really good people today um you know this gentleman and he's, he's a coach for this young man 13 year old um boy who is a junior olympian and he's got some pretty good uh competition stuff behind under his belt he's a uh, pretty impressive so uh he's doing real well he took first in some something recently and yeah he was pretty good pretty good shot that uh, young man was and then uh Another gentleman, local guy here, and then just running people out there on the course, talking to them, and you know, I ran, you know, going around the booth, talking to guys. Just everybody's super friendly. Um, and I had dinner over at the lodge, the ski lodge area. I was just super hungry. I didn't feel like coming all the way back here to the camper to eat. And plus, like right after I finished the course, the heavens just opened and we got soaked. I was soaking wet anyways from all the sweating and then heavens opened up and it was pouring out rain so i ended up going to just feel kind of miserable <laughs> tired too but uh had dinner sat there talking to a guy at the bar so that was pretty fun he's from north carolina but uh yeah i mean this was a little over four miles of hiking and with like around 2200 foot gain and 2400 foot drop you know total there so that was pretty it's pretty good little jaunt out there today um, i was able to get on a course for tomorrow so tomorrow's a hoyt course 25 targets targets between 100 or 40 and 100 can't shoot anything over 80 with my bow set up so um, i'll have to skip those ones i guess but uh yeah a lot of fun really glad i'm up here and so i just went and took a shower and on some comfy clothes and i'm gonna probably be in bed early tonight because i'm pretty well my feet are killing me um really having trouble with this foot thing 
So going to relax tonight and uh, get back at it tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Well, uh, it's a wrap for today. I didn't really do any filming this morning, but uh, I got this morning and uh, got my breakfast made and headed on over to the uh, to the uh, facility. I was able to get on a uh, uh, add-on today, so I got on the Hoyt course at 10:30, which was a lot of fun. I, I mean, I hunted or I shot with a group of guys from. Um, they were mostly from North Carolina. One guy from Virginia. But man, that was a that was a lot of fun shooting with those guys in that course. It was a tough course, and we had a blast just goofing around, have, you know, joking around, giving heart harassing each other. Just it was a good time. I ended up uh, lost two arrows and busted two arrows. So not like you know, yesterday, I did a I did better, but uh, only losing that one arrow. But I think I ended up missing like maybe six or seven shots or something like that. I can't remember. I wasn't keeping track. Well, I, other than I busted two arrows and lost two arrows but uh there's a couple 80 yard shots in there and there's a 100 yard shot that i just barely missed i don't have, i can't shoot past 80 with my setup um as far as my i can't now my sight won't go down that far it'll go but i'll take my fletchings off so i wasn't able to to i was just holding holding over its back i didn't hold high enough so but i mean it was fun some really tough tricky shots and that heavy arrow setup proved out to be pretty good with like punching through some some stuff so <laughs> and still hitting target but uh at any rate the um warrior uh rising um they're a, a veteran foundation or a veteran group helping veterans do uh start their own businesses so i talked to them this morning um and I'm, they're doing a uh, after party thing tonight so i'm gonna go hit that up but uh so I'm going to go wander around and uh, do some rehydrating before I do some dehydrating later tonight. So there you have it. I'll see you guys later. All right. Hey there, folks. It's uh, Saturday. About 1 o'clock now. I got up this morning and uh, slept in a little bit and got up and made some breakfast. And then I had to run a town so that I could wage war on mice. So got, got some mice, or at least one mouse, hanging out in the camper. We thought we got rid of it on the last trip because that was the first time we noticed that there was one and apparently that didn't work. So I ran and got some traps and then I cleaned this whole place up and got everything uh, cleaned up in here and vacuumed and just did a bunch of work on it, you know, um, get the place cleaned up and uh, just you know, had some time to do that. So I wanted to take advantage of the time to kind of Mess around. So I ran to town, got some supplies, and took care of a few things around here on the camper. Worked on my bow. Got a little stand for it there. And uh, this is something that's when I'm shooting, I can just sit down out the lay it on the ground, which I normally do and I hate doing. So put that on there and kind of messed around. Took my bow, my bow over, and you know, just kind of putzing around so but I'm getting ready to head over to to the place to the um to over to tack and go do some shooting on the practice range and uh just hang out talk to some folks and see what's up so that's about it for today nothing much exciting going on but uh definitely having a good time it's just nice and relaxing today it's just been good just to get kind of decompress a little bit and just not think about much of you know work or any other responsibilities that are out there <laughs> and just kind of relax it's kind of nice to kind of unplug and not have to think about things so get my stuff put back together here and load it up in the truck and i'm gonna head on over and see what i can get myself into well i had a good time today over playing around on the practice course shot a bunch um really was just trying to work on my you know plus 50 shots so I was doing like 50 60 70 80 yard shots and uh, feeling pretty pleased with how I did so um, you know I just kind of wander around and I was able to chit chat with some folks meet some more people so that was always it's always good um, now I did catch the mouse so the mouse has been dealt with. I'm hoping that's the only one. I got three more traps set. So we'll see if anyone comes out tonight to play. But I got one. 
and hopefully that's the only one. Now, I've got my uh, grill going, got some uh, venison burgers going. I'm gonna do these up fancy. I'm gonna throw some shredded cheese on here. I'm gonna throw some hot sauce. I'm gonna throw some, uh, uh, an egg on there, a fried egg on there. It's gonna be delish. So, and then I think I might set my hammock up, start fire and hang out. All right, it's chow time. Look at this marvelous masterpiece right here. Double cheeseburger with a fried egg. Yeah, and I got some cheese shells left over. I don't know, they're leftovers. And I got some green beans because if I don't eat some green beans, my wife will yell at me. Or eat some vegetables. So we had a can of green beans in the pantry. So I uh, heated those up. So getting my vegetables. And salsa counts as vegetables, right? I think it counts as vegetables. So there you have it. There's my exciting night tonight. I'm gonna chow down. All right, we're back. Had a great, uh, great night last night hanging out with the guys across from me, uh, Kyle and JJ. Awesome couple of guys. We, uh, we've been kind of chit-chatting uh, over the, this long weekend and sitting around, you know, BSing at night and uh, it was a lot of fun hanging out with them. They're a couple of really good guys and uh, turn, comes to find out <laughs> Kyle's with uh, Whitetail Edge so that was pretty cool. But at any rate, uh, yeah, just great time hanging out with those guys and looking forward to meeting up with them again. Um, maybe link up, do a hunt together or something or you know, next year come out here and shoot the courses together. But uh, today's the last day. I'm going to shoot the uh, RMEF course here this morning and then uh, I won't, I'm not going to, I came over earlier so I can just kind of hang out but I'm not going to stick around um, this afternoon. I'm going to go back and get the camper cleaned and all that stuff. So that's the plan here this morning. All right, we're heading up the chairlift. First time on the chairlift for this event. We did the BRCC course, which is a walk-in and then the Hoyt course took a shuttle up to the top of the mountain. So we're heading up. Go hit this RMEF course. There's the practice course over there. Just in, underneath the belly. Yeah, you should, it should be right in the dirt, right? In front. Well, I made it home. I uh, got done with the course and on uh, on Sunday there, or you know, yesterday, and got everything cleaned up. We you know, got back to camper, got everything cleaned up, packed up, and I was a little tired. I just kind of got everything cleaned up and lay down, read for a while, and uh, just organized everything, made sure I was ready to go because I wanted to get up early this morning and get on the road so I uh, got got up this morning and I was on the road I, I pulled out of the campground at like 8 o'clock went to the dump station took care of all that stuff and, and down the road but man I was going to do some video earlier today but it's just that drive was rough so even for a Monday it, it was a month today's Monday so I wanted to get on the road early I was taking the highways back. I didn't want to do with the drive that I did on the way up on Wednesday. So, yeah, it. I was fine until I got you know down 270, closer to DC to the Beltway. And even midday, it was it was rough. It always is, but I made it. It was a long <laughs> six-hour evolution getting down to the storage place, and then you know back to the house. And I've been putting gear away and all those things. So I'm pretty beat. But hey, it was a great time, you know, going to TAC this year. I'm so glad I went. I can't wait until next year to go again. It's going to be a blast. And, you know, I met some great people, um, you know, this uh, this weekend, uh, you know, Chris and Ben and Sam and Pete and um, Kyle and JJ and then, you know, all the other folks. I, you know, Tim I shot with yesterday on the RMEF course. It was just such a good time and it's you know talking to all the people of the, you know at the vendor area and then um um you know hanging out at the little restaurant bar thing talking to people there it's just 
it's what this is all about having a good time meeting good people and it just goes to show you like, you know this is such a good community of outdoors people that just you know love getting together and, and having a great time so you guys gotta hit up one of these events and i'm looking forward to next year so i'm gonna finish getting my stuff done here and i'm gonna go sit in my chair and probably pass out so thanks as always for following along hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and uh stick around we got tons and tons more content coming so we'll see you guys on the next video.